In this session we're going to talk about the web macro task settings. And as mentioned before, this task was introduced in version 8.2.0 of Visual Chrome. And uh, we start with the main settings tab. You can see that you have uh, the load images setting here. And this controls if any images should be loaded in the playback. And if you deselect this, the actual loading will be faster. You're able to block any pop-ups that come during the playback. You can override the current user agent and as mentioned before we're using Chrome and you can override the refer. You're able to set this specific accept language if you for example expect a certain version of the page to be presented depending on the language of the browser. You're able to set specific Google API keys uh, to use uh, some specific Google services like the speech API. And one web macro task uh, consists of several different steps and these are actions that have been recorded in the web macro automation browser that we use. These are uh, listed here in, in this specific window and some of them you can edit to alter specific values like variables. We have the proxy tab and by default we use new proxy and if you want to override this you set the proxy settings here and, and this will be used for the whole session unless you are using the uh, proxy step which uh, enables you to override the current proxy settings here and change it during the session. We have the certificates tab so uh, for example if a specific uh, client certificate is needed uh, uh, by the server you can add this here and it will be presented upon request. Uh, we have the plugins tab and uh, we support the plugins like Flash and uh, you're able to add uh, more plugins of specific types here. Then we have the recorder window and this window uh, uh, looks similar like a browser. Uh, you have uh, the main tab where you enter a specific address here and uh, once you type or uh, press enter or press this button here it will go to that tab you're able to um, sorry go to that web page and you're able to um, open several tabs at the same time so for example you can uh, click on here to open a new tab and then go for example to google.com so you can switch between tabs and copy information and uh, you can also open incognito tabs so if you want to browse in uh, in an incognito mode. And as you can see during the uh, time when I click on stuff like here you will see that the steps are added. And I can click on the download page for example and uh, download the application. And you can also right click here on the web page to create new tabs, uh, go back and forward um, able to copy information and start specific steps from here like downloading or extracting certain information. So um, for example if you want to download I can click on the download here and um, I'm able to select a folder for example I'll use this test folder here unable to control the name here I can override the name with a variable, so I can, for example, add a, uh, a date to the current uh, name, and it will change, uh, and it will be evaluated during the actual runtime. In each step, I have this wait tab, so I'm able to wait a specific number of milliseconds before I'm doing a certain step. So I'm clicking here and it will download the actual file and I'm able to see the progress 
uh, now the download was so fast but normally I'm able to see the progress when downloading it I also have some other steps like extract information and I can click I can see and uh, the actual element here TD in this case and I can right click and choose to extract data step and when I click on that I'm able to extract certain information on that element it might have child elements but in this case I just want to extract uh, the text here and I'm able to select where to store this variable so for example I can create a specific uh, job variable here that I'm able to use later or I can use an uh, existing user variable and uh, then I'm also able to download let me see if I find a download URL sorry an upload URL here and I can go here and I can uh, select an existing file and uh, click the upload here Oh, I need to fill some more information. Let's type any address here. And as you see here again, I'm uh, populating different kind of fields, and um, these kind of steps can be edited later. So, if I want to use a variable here instead uh, of this uh, text that I type, I can uh, insert it here in later when editing the step. So I'm starting to upload and the upload was completed. So whenever I'm done with this, I can just click on stop here, but I can show you some more steps here. For example, I'm able to print the current page. Uh, so this means that I will be able to select an existing printer here, some basic printer settings, and it will print the current page. And I'm able to similar create a screenshot of the current page and this is similar to download I'm specified in folder the name of the file here I can use variables similar like before and I'm able to uh, change the proxy on demand here as ex explained before I'm able to uh, inject certain JavaScript into this page see if there's anything else here I can view the source uh, of this page and um, I can copy a certain link to uh, to, an, uh, to a variable so when I'm done I'm clicking stop here and it asks me if I want to save the steps I want to do this and if I go to the steps tab I can see this the steps here and as I said before, I'm able to double click or click edit and uh, on, s on some of the steps. And for example, this download step to use the variable here, insert the date maybe here. Uh, similar like uh, upload, I can uh, change upload settings. And, uh, so and I'm able to play it back later as well uh, to see that it works. It should have the same behavior when you play back here in the client. This is called a foreground playback uh, when it plays back on the desktop, as when you play back on 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 the server from the server, uh, actually playing back from a Windows service. So uh, I'm clicking here. I can also click here to set a, a specific weight for all steps here but I don't want to do that now and I'm just clicking OK to save the web macro task so this is general introduction of the different kind of actions that we have today the settings and um, if you have any further questions just uh, go to the support page on our uh, website and you'll be able to um, contact us in different ways thank you